probably one of the things that helped me as a level four get to a level four. What is up everyone and welcome back to another F6 weekly vlog. So this week has been a little bit different for me because I've only just opened up the Saturday. I was supposed to be away this week, um, this weekend and next weekend, but I've opened it up. So it's the 24th on Saturday and I'm now in the FA Trophy second qualifying round all the way in Sittingbourne. Sittingbourne versus Burgess Hill. Um, I haven't done either of those teams this year, so obviously it's a new look squad. It's a long way away, um, but it is Thursday today. The training plan has been legs, push, pull, and today I have got climbing. So I'm going to take a few videos of that. Come along for the ride, and I'll probably catch you tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, no, tomorrow, because it's a speed session tomorrow. I'll catch you tomorrow to take you through my speed session and my week of training. But the FA Trophy again, we love it. See you there. Welcome to Friday morning. So it is match day minus one. So I'm going to do a speed session at lunchtime today, my lunch break. Um, so what my session has been this week, it's been push, pull, legs, a climbing session because that's something fun and enjoyable and something different. It helps with explosive power and, and sort of it's something called calisthenics. So it's all like body weight movements, pushing up, using power in my legs. Um, as you would have seen yesterday, having to leap up onto the, onto the rocks. So if you want a fitness plan, what we've done is we've created one for you guys. You've just got to hit the link in our description. It'll take you to our Ref6 Fit 6, uh, where we've put a plan together for the fitness test. If you've got one of them coming up, because we know in America it's fitness test season over there, as well as sort of a weekly match day, get ready for match day fitness test as well. Um, it's nothing strenuous. It's nothing mental. It's just nice and simple. If you want to know a little bit more about it, leave a drop a comment. If there's anything that you want me to explain about the plan, drop a comment. And if there's anything you want to see about my training personally, uh, drop a comment as well. Because what I I come from a sports science background, so I use a lot of athletic stuff that I've picked up from athletics, from uni, in my training as well. I obviously train with somebody. And this match day minus one session, which is going to be box runs again. Um, so it's back... Or it's, 18 yard to 18 yard box backwards and forwards again uh, in 30 seconds rest do it again rest do it again so on so forth um i've started picking up from you know listening to podcasts with other referees and chatting to other referees as well that are slightly higher than me so if there's anything you want to hear from them or you want to know about fitness drop a comment uh, and i'll get back to you um with the answer it may take me a couple of days because i might have to research the answer but i will get back to you so Let's get this session done and I will probably catch you tomorrow for what will be match day. Good morning. So it is quarter to nine in the morning and I'm up, ready to go, ish. Um, it's going to be fairly straightforward today. I'm going to go for a quick walk, pack my bag, pretty much meal, go. I've got to leave early because it's going to take me an hour and 15 minutes to get to Sittingbourne. I want to get to the ground at half past one, so I've got to leave just before quarter past 12. So, come along for the day. FA Trophy, second round. I've got to look up the rules again, uh, but I'll do that in a minute on my walk. So yeah, here we go, let's do this. It's half 11, it's kit bag check time. So I've gone for a pretty much walk. I've done some errands that I needed to do today. And now it's time to pack up my kit for an FA Trophy second qualifying round game. So I think this is the furthest I've ever been in the trophy. So here is the kit for today. Starting off, we've got the True Socks, uh, which I've been wearing recently because it helps with blisters. I've got the official FA branded socks, which I usually just use for lines and a spare pair of just standard black ones warm-up stuff so i've got a mid layer and my fa badge 
two kits the old older older kit and the brand new kit uh with obviously the no collar i have under armor short sleeve and then short um like short under armor things nike pros i think they are i have two pairs of shorts towel my boots are in here and a second pair is in there as well you can see the blue tick box of tricks um with everything in wash bag harry bows for the assistance i have the science and sport fruit salad one today as well as pineapple and mango tablets as well as my crime sheet spare pen old referee reports and everything in here uh, i think also my expense cards are in there as well so that's the kit i'm gonna pack all this stuff up and then eat my pre-match meal Hello everyone, so it's pretty much meal. As you can see, I'm changed and ready to go. It's different today, as I'm sure you'll all be buzzing for. Um, it's not beans anymore, it's a fish finger sandwich. So even more rogue, so can't wait for the comments on this one. But it's nice and carb. I've also had a little bit of sausage meat plat as well to make sure I've got plenty of fuel. Obviously I've got my gels and my hydration tablets as well. So I should be able to get through the day absolutely fine. And then a big dinner later and probably post-match at the ground as well. So still eating plenty. So I'm gonna eat this up. My pre-match post is here and then I'm gonna drive to the ground because it's gonna take me about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So this playlist will be used and abused today. One of the things I forgot to show you that I packed are my buzzer flags from Rest Tech and my speaker, which is from the middle of Thailand when I bought it when I was out there. So other than that, I'll catch you at the ground. Okay, so the game is done. Um, that was that was good. It felt good. I felt good out there. I felt confident. And one one of the assistants said to me, "We've had a bit of a scramble at the end." So the game went to penalties because it's the FA Trophy, straight to pens, um, which is fine. Um, we had to make sure that we got that spot on, which we did. Um, in terms of match control, first half it was good. They were a bit moany and. But my man management today felt really good, and I think that's something that even the um, assist, one of the assistants said to me. He was like, "Oh, I thought you know your man management was really good. Like you were able to have some banter with the players, and you could tell that they were receiving it well. Um, so that's great uh, to hear. Actually, um, that it, even the perception from the outside is that I'm getting on with the players really well. So you know, really happy with how it's gone today." from hot takes um, managers seemed happy secretary seemed happy um, so you know at the end of the day I feel quite good about that quite positive no assessor which is probably unlucky I think I run 10k which is the longest I've done in a while but I dread to think what my heat map looked like um, it rained a little bit which made you know challenges fly in cup game as well with a last minute or 93rd minute equaliser so you know it got really gritty um, and we had to really be on top of things. So, you know, I'm very happy with how it's gone. And now it's the long hour and 15 minute drive back to the house um, and then just chill out really. So I've got a recovery session tomorrow, um, which is, you know, it is what it is, 10K in the legs, uh, and then back to training Monday. But what I'm gonna do is hopefully, Burgess Hill can send me the VO footage and then have a look at it. Um, but I've got a chat to now my coach and I've got a chat to a few other people about about the game itself So yeah, so far so good Several days later Hello, so it's time to talk over the sitting born game, which was quite entertaining actually It's obviously the next round in the FA trophy 
So obviously off the back of last week of Dorkin and a late appointment as well, it's quite a nice appointment to pick up. Obviously Sittingbourne is in the back end of nowhere, so travelling wise it was a bit more difficult to get to. I don't really like, you know, I like the long travels in terms of sometimes, but they can get a little bit frustrating after a while, just simply due to the fact that I travelled on my own and there's no one really to talk to. Like there's only so much of my wet music that you can listen to without going crazy. Um, obviously, I talk to people in the car as well um, to keep me entertained. But you know, it's just nice to, you know, if you're going, especially for a long journey, there's always that nice time to bond with your other assistants or referee um, in the car. And yes, I know, like as we get more professional, games aren't going to be around the corner and sitting one took me two hours. So. <laughs> It is what it is. It's expectation. It's that this what this is at this level now. But if we go through the game, so the important thing is going into any game like this is looking at the match rules. So the FA Trophy, excuse me, the FA Trophy, and I believe the VARs this year up until a certain round are straight to penalties. And there have been incidents already this year where referees have been suspended for I think it's about fourteen days. Um, they don't do a game ban, they just suspend you for a certain amount of time for not following the rules. So it's the one thing that I probably overthink massively. Like I read the rules going into the game and it said if nil nil after or if I draw after 90 minutes, we're going straight to kicks from the penalty mark. So I will cover a full video about kicks from the penalty mark, I think, if there is sort of value for it. So you just let me know in the comments if that's the kind of thing you want to see because obviously it's changed. It went from ABA to ABBA, which is ABBA. So, and then went back to ABA. And then obviously there's been a lot of changes with the coin toss in there as well. So if you want me to cover that in another video, please let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video as well. But Anyway, enough of the technical stuff. Let's look at my ref six stats. So, as you can see, I covered 10K, which has actually been quite a considerable increase recently by about probably a K, a K and a half in my last couple of games in the middle. I think that's down to my positioning from goal kicks. Now, I'm not getting as wide, so I'm not having to spread the field as much anymore. Um, and I'm still thinking that. But 10K is a lot for me. I worked really hard in the first half. There was a lot of end-to-end -end action, as you can see. 5.2k in the first half and 4.76 in the second half. It was a bit more of a barrage of sitting born peppering the Burgess Hill goal. Um, but if we look at my heat map, you know, it's nice and spread. There aren't these too many big red spots. And these big red spots here are from me standing. That's where I stand from corners, mostly in and around those areas. So that, and there was a lot of corners in, especially if we look at the second half, yeah. These are a lot of these red spots will be me from dead ball positions, um, goal kicks, well, corners, free kicks, and there was a lot of them in the second half. So that's obviously quite, you know, reassuring that those red spots aren't me being lazy; they're me being there <laughs> because I need to be there. Misconduct, four yellows, weird deal down this left hand side, but you know, there's not really too much you can do about that. About yellow cards, um, sprints. Now, if we look, we've got quite a wild um, sprint map. But in the first half, you can see there's a lot of nice ones. Um, if we take out the medium, uh, take out the medium sprints, you can see two big red sprints coming across the field. I can't explain them. I'm not going to try and explain them. But if we look at the medium ones, some lovely sweeping runs. Really happy with them. And then looking at the second half again, some really nice sweeping runs and one really nice high one. So very positive in terms of you know, the sprint map. And it's something that I've really been working on my sprints um, and just making sure I'm always on my toes. And I think that's what's getting me more sprints because I'm on, on my front foot more rather than on my heels. So I'm up to top speed quicker. So therefore, Ref6 allows the things to go down. Heart rate of 185. I, like I said, I worked hard in the game and spent a lot of time in those sort of top heart rate zones. But in terms of the actual game, it was, it's again, one of those gritty games where one of the captains I couldn't work with and probably tried too hard. Um, and I've spoken to my coach about this and I found a midfielder that I could work with better. So, you know, sometimes you're just dealing with those situations and being like, okay, well, I'm going to have to bin you off even though you're the captain. 
um, which is frustrating, don't get me wrong, but you just have to do it. It's really detrimental sometimes because you've basically got to tell the captain to do one. Um, but it all came to a safe conclusion. Kicks from the penalty mark. We had a little bit of like crowd trouble at the end um, because Sittingbourne lost on penalties and Burgess Hill gave it the big ones. So it's just about making sure that when you blow the final whistle, watch the people celebrate because they're celebrating in front of the home fans because obviously Burgess Hill were away. They're celebrating in front of the home fans. So you've got to be basically on it from the get-go to make sure that you are aware of the situation at all times because if anything kicks off and you're just talking to your assistants if it's still on the field of play it's still within your sort of like jurisdiction if that's the right word so you've got to be like on it from the get-go um, and then when it's all died down you sort of let one team go into the change room and you hang around you pretend to go get the ball and you're just keeping an eye out about what's going on because people will then come in and knock on your change room and say, did you see this? Did you see that? And if you go, yes, I saw that. Yes, I saw that. Then the clubs are happy that you're taking note and taking action. But other than that, I enjoyed it. Two good assistants. I've been out of Nick before as well. So, you know, learning all about, um, learning more about him, which was nice. They both come from Kent. Uh, I can't remember the other guy's name off the top of my head because uh, I haven't worked with him before. But he was a really good assistant, actually. I've got no... No issues with him. I think he'll do really well. He is going back up to uni and he's going to referee up there. And I think he'll do really well. Um, he seems pretty switched on. Gives gives a little bit about his fitness as well, which is, I think, really important. It's probably one of the things that helped me as a level four get to a level three. And especially at level three now, I think the assessors are picking up on it or observers are picking up on it a little bit more in terms of that's my 1% difference, I think. Um, I think my foul recognition is good. But I think my fitness... It's just a little bit better than a lot of level threes. So when I do those last minute sprints, they're like, oh, actually he is a little bit different tick. So that's what I think is important. So, But that's just my personal um, opinion about my strengths. And I know that that is a key strength of mine. Um, so yeah, we go on next week. Um, I don't know where I am off the top of my head. Let me just check ref six. Um, so next week I am at three bridges in the FA Cup how exciting so this is the furthest I've been in the FA Cup so I look forward to that um, I'm very much looking forward to being back at three bridges it's a nice club to go to and against Hereford um, no. so I don't know where I am next week I haven't got a game as it stands but I believe it's FA Cup weekend so fingers crossed for that if not I might be reappointed to the Southern League or the Ishman League or even back to the County League or even if I don't pick up on a County League game because obviously it's not my given right to get a County League game again. I'll go to the Mid-Sussex and help them out if they're short. Failing that, I'll go down and find a game to do, I think. Um, so there are lots of available opportunities uh, for me to do. But thank you very much for watching this part of the vlog uh, and the vlog in general. I'm going to sign it off now. Um, like I said, we don't know where we are next week, but it could all be quite exciting. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you at the next Ref6 weekly vlog.